Imagine, 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 imagine you living like a local in Tel Aviv and Jerusalem. Traveling with friends from around the world. <laughs> Discovering hidden gems. Interning at your dream company. It's your Israel. Come experience it. Hi, I'm Simon Cohen, the co-founder and admissions director of Aardvark Israel. We run gap year programs in Israel for Jewish students from all over the world, aged 17 to 21. We run all of our programs in conjunction with Massa Israel Journey, a project of the Jewish agency and the Israeli government. In this presentation, we'll be talking about the Aardvark Israel classic gap year and semester program. Underlying all of our programs is this idea of immersion into Israeli society. We want you to feel like you're living in Israel. This is not a tourist program. It's not a, a few days of fun in the sun. We want you to come and live here and get to know the people, the land, the language, the culture, society, the food scene, everything there is to know about Israel. And we're going to do that from a first-hand basis with you living in Israel for an extended period of time. Now on our program, because we're not affiliated with any particular religious or political movement, we have Jewish students coming from all over the world from all different backgrounds. Whether that's religious or secular, left-wing or right-wing, you're going to meet people from all over the world with all sorts of different backgrounds. And they're coming literally from every, every country you can imagine where Jews actually live. So you can imagine yourself coming from whatever country you're coming from, and you find yourself living in an apartment with a, someone from Los Angeles, somebody from Sao Paulo, somebody from Sydney, Australia, somebody else from Johannesburg, and somebody from Antwerp. When else in your life are you ever going to get to live with such a wide variety of people whilst on our program? Also on our program, every community is paired with a Mishina program. And you get to do joint activities with Israelis who are doing a Mishina throughout the program. Mishina is for Israelis who have also finished high school and are doing their gap year before they go into the Israeli army. So you're meeting and interacting with Israelis who are your age, having a similar experience to you, and you're meeting with the same Israelis throughout your year. So our goal is you're making Israeli friends as well as friends from all over the world whilst you're on our program. Now our program is very much focused on personal and professional development. You're going to get to know Israel in a deep, meaningful way. You're going to get to explore your Judaism. What we want you also to do is learn life skills, learn professional skills, build up your resume and have a meaningful year that really instead of a gap year, as people call it, we like to call it a leap year because you're really getting ahead in life as a result of the year or the semester you're having on our program. We also want to talk about the fact that you have a very supportive environment on our program. Our staff to student ratio is about 12 to 15 madrichim, which are counsellors, to student ratio. Um, and that means you're well taken care of, you're looked after. Our goal is that you become young, independent adults when on, our, on our program. But nevertheless, we have a supportive network there to catch you when you fall, to help you when you need help, and to make sure you're really fulfilling your potential whilst you're on our program. Now on the Aardvark Israel Gap Year and Semester program, it's a very customizable experience. You get to pick and choose from the menu of opportunities we offer and build the version of the program that works best for you. You as a young adult, you as an individual, it is not based on what your parents want you to do. It is not based on what your school wants you to do or a youth movement. It is all about you as an individual and what you want to get out of your gap year or your gap semester. You only get one chance to do this and we want you to do the things that you are passionate about and the things that you love. Because when you're doing the things you love whilst you're in Israel, you end up falling in love with Israel as well. And as I go through the program now and I explain the program to you, you'll see there's lots of areas for customization and ways that you can build your version of the program based on what you're interested in. And that starts with the length of time you come for. Um, you can come for one semester, or which is a four and a half month period, or a full gap year program, which is nine months. We also have a year plus program where you get to know an 11 month experience and you can add on to your gap year program in Israel. Now we're a very urban experience. We're based smack bang in the middle of Tel Aviv and smack bang in the middle of Jerusalem. Now those are two amazing cities. And I'm sure many of you know they're very, very different from each other. So I do encourage you, if you can do a full year in Israel, come and live half a year in Tel Aviv and half a year in Jerusalem, because that's a really unique opportunity. If you can only come for one semester, you have a very hard choice to make. Jerusalem? Or Tel Aviv. The beauty of that is there's no bad choice, there's no bad decision. Whichever city you live in, you're gonna absolutely love. Now in Tel Aviv, we're in the um, Florentine neighborhood. That is uh, about a 10-minute walk from the beach. It's really near Rothschild Boulevard, if you know that, very near the Carmel Market. It's very near Old Jaffa as well. And it's a really great, exciting, vibrant neighborhood to live in. 
So in Jerusalem, you're living in the Machane Yehuda neighborhood. And in Machane Yehuda, which is the market, you get to live right next to the market. It's very happening all day and all night long. There's always something going on in and around Machane Yehuda. You're also only a 10-minute walk from, um, from, the, from the old city of Jerusalem. And you're about a five-minute walk from downtown Ben Yehuda Street as well. So they're really living in phenomenal, phenomenal locations. And again, if you come for a year, you get to live in both of those places. If you come for one semester, you get to live in one of those places. Now, our program start dates are either in September or in January. So you can come from September to December, from September to May, or you can do September to August. And that includes our plus summer experiences, which I'll talk about a little bit later on. You can also start the program in January and you can do January to May, January to August, or January to December. And that way we're catering to all the different, to, to, to both different hemispheres, to the Northern Hemisphere, the Southern Hemisphere. You can come for full semester, spring semester, or the full gap year. Moving on to the apartments themselves. Now, in our, on our program, you're living in fully furnished, fully equipped apartments. They're fully equipped with everything you could possibly need. And as a non-coercive program, we have apartments that cater to people who are more traditional and keep kosher or maybe keep Shabbat as well. And we have for, uh, par- apartments that are not kosher and not Shabbat Shabbat so that anyone who isn't kosher and isn't Shabbat Shabbat will feel comfortable in their apartments. Your apartment is your home and everyone should feel comfortable in their home whilst they're on their gap here in Israel. We also, whilst you're living in your apartments, want you to learn life skills. It's about learning how to cook for yourself, to clean for yourself, do your own laundry, learning how to budget, doing your own grocery shopping. Now, for many of you, maybe you've never done that before. And we'll, don't worry, because we'll teach you how to do that. And for some of you who do know to do that, you'll be the most popular people in your apartments already. Um, and so that's the living situation. We want you to become young, independent adults and learn these life skills whilst you're on our program in these lovely apartments. Approximately five people in each apartment whilst you're on our program. Now, in terms of the program itself, this is a sample weekly schedule. Now you can see here the work week starts on a Sunday and goes through to Thursday. And the weekend in Israel is Friday and Saturday or Friday and Shabbat. Now most of our weekends are free on our program. That is a chance for you to explore Israel, visit friends, visit family. You're welcome to travel around. Um, You can really do whatever you want on the weekends as long as it's legal. Um, But uh, but, uh, we have a few mandatory Shabbatunim and a few optional Shabbatunim throughout the program as well. In terms of the work week, which is Sunday to Thursday, there's three core components of the program itself. The first is the internships and volunteering, and that takes place from around 10 in the morning to around 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Then there is an educational program where there's different classes going on, and they take place throughout the week before and after your internship, depending on which classes you've chosen and how many classes you've chosen as well. And then every Tuesday, the entire day is set aside for our field trips, where we go all over Israel, to show you all sorts of incredible things. I'll talk about each of those in more detail in a second. I also want to mention that every evening there's different activities going on. Some are optional and some are mandatory. Now we'll start with our internship and volunteering. It's a very exciting part of our program. Our internship and volunteering team works with each individual student to find the placement that is perfect for them. Again, we have over 200 options. That could be working in a high-tech startup company, political think tank, maybe it's an NGO, maybe it's in TV, radio, newspapers, maybe it's working with a fashion designer or a jewelry designer, maybe it's working in an archaeological dig, maybe it's working in a soup kitchen, maybe it's in a school, maybe it's in a kindergarten, maybe it's in medical research, maybe it's working with victims of terror or with African refugees. The list goes on. There is really something for everyone and we do our best to work with each individual student to find the placement that you will absolutely love. Maybe it's something that's going to be a future career for you, or maybe it's something you've never had a chance to do before, will never have a chance to do again, and a gap year is the perfect time to try out these different things. So that's our internship and volunteering part, um, part of the program. Again, it meets four days a week from, from around 10 o'clock to around 2 o'clock, 2.30 in the afternoon. The second key component of our program is the classes. Now, the classes take place throughout the week before and after the internship and volunteering. There are different types of classes you can do, and there are different topics you can do within the classes. For those looking for it, we have a fully accredited program through Portland State University. You can earn up to 30 university credits on our program. It could count as your freshman year of college. On our program, there are lots of different subjects you can choose. Everyone on the program is learning Hebrew Upan, so you're learning the language. 
But beyond that, we have Jewish study classes, Israel study classes, and all sorts of secular style classes as well, like politics, history, geography, literature, and a wide variety of classes you to choose from. So you have a wide variety of electives to transfer back to your school in the States. Credit is transferable to the majority of schools in the States and some schools in Canada and in Israel as well. If you aren't interested in the credits, then beyond the Hebrew Ulpan, we have all sorts of other courses and things you can choose as well. One example is our mini courses. Our mini courses are five-week courses in lots of different subjects that you get to choose from. And that can be anything from Jewish humor to Israeli cinema to um, the Israeli online conversation to Hasbara, which is explaining what's going on in Israel to people and learning the skills to do that, um, and all sorts of other topics as well. We also offer Chugim. Chugim are extracurricular activities that you can do once a week. It can be anything from yoga to meditation to photography to, to spoken Arabic and all sorts of courses like that as well. And you pick and choose from all those different courses I just mentioned and build your academic and educational part of the program. And then every single Tuesday, the entire day is set aside for our field trips. Now, some people, in fact, many of our students have been to Israel before. Some of you have even been many times before. So what we like to do is take you off the beaten track to what we like to call the hidden gems of Israel, those secret places that tourists don't know about. Even Israelis don't get to the places we go to. And that every single week of the program, we're doing these amazing trips all over Israel. And three times per semester, we'll do a longer trip where we'll spend a few days in the Golan Heights, in the Galil, the Negev Desert, the Judean Desert. We'll do a kibbutz seminar so you get a bit of a feel for what a kibbutz is all about. And that's over the course of the program, you really get to see the length and breadth of Israel whilst you're on our program. That's the daytimes. In the evening, there are also all sorts of other activities going on. And as I said earlier, some are mandatory and some are optional. Our mandatory activities include a, an apartment meeting, and that takes place once or even twice a week, which is our time to check in with you, make sure you're happy on the program, that everything's going well in your apartment, you're getting on with each other, you're not killing each other in the apartment. Also making sure the apartment is a clean and hygienic place to live and doing all sorts of apartment bonding activities with you as well. Beyond that, once a week, we have a Faces of Israel activity, which is also mandatory. And there's our opportunity to expose you to Israeli society, culture, politics, and things like that through different guest speakers and activities, which will expose you to all of those aforementioned things. Beyond that, there are all sorts of other activities going on, which are optional. At least once a week, our campus rabbi is running different Jewish learning opportunities throughout the week on both campuses, including one evening a week. There's all sorts of experiential Jewish learning activities going on for those who want more opportunities for Jewish learning. Beyond that, our madrachim are running group bonding activities and social activities. It could be rock climbing, it could be acrobatics, it could be a graffiti workshop, an Israeli film night, a hummus making workshop. There's all sorts of things going on. Plus, you're living in the middle of Jerusalem and Tel Aviv, so you can get out. Go to sports events, concerts, art exhibits, street festivals. There's always something going on and there's loads for you be, to be doing in the evenings, whether that's uh, with the uh, activities with us, which are optional and or mandatory, or in your own free time as well. There's always something to do. And as I said before, weekends are predominantly free and you can do whatever you want on the weekend as long as it is legal. And that was the core program. Beyond the core program, there are all sorts of add-ons you can add to the core program in order to ex uh, customize your experience further. Our first add-on that I'm gonna talk about is our seller Jewish enrichment track. And that's some people who love the idea of our program, but want more opportunities for Jewish learning and Jewish experiences whilst you're on our program. Now, this is a very non-coercive, non-judgmental environment. We want you to learn, to increase your knowledge about Judaism and make your own informed decision about what it means to be Jewish and how to practice and observe your Judaism. Once a week, we'll have Beit Midrash style learning, and once a week, we'll do experiential Jewish learning, where we'll take you out and about to experience learning and Judaism through the experiences you can have in and around Israel. For example, we'll do Tanakh Tiulim, where we take you on different hikes, connect into the stories that happen in the Tanakh, in the Bible, and we'll take you to the places where it happened, and we'll bring those places to life with an amazing tour guide. You'll absolutely love it. We do different Jewish workshops, Jewish dance workshops, Jewish film workshops, Jewish photography workshops, and things like that as well. Different Jewish um, experiences, where it's going to Shuk Abat Aminim, Shuk Kaparot, Siyos Lichot. And if you don't know what any of those are, come on the program, learn, you'll find out, it'll be wonderful. We'll also do my favorite thing, which is when we go diving for Tchelet. In the third paragraph of the Shema, it tells us one of the strings of our tzitzit should be the color of Tchelet, which is this light blue color found in the Chilazon, which is a snail but not just any type of snail, a sea snail. 
So we'll take you diving in the Mediterranean to find this sea snail, and we'll take you through the whole process, how you get from the sea snail to this blue dye on the string of your sitsit. Um, there's test tubes involved, there's chemicals involved. It's a really different way of, of learning about Judaism. Also on the Seller Jewish Enrichment Track, there'll be Shabbat Lim every few weeks, so you can also have all different types of um, uh, religious Shabbat experiences as well. Other add-ons that we, special interest add-ons that we include are a sea sports add-on, which is in the full semester in Tel Aviv, and it's different activities that we do on the Mediterranean um, once a week, whether that's kite surfing or sup yoga or scuba diving or all sorts of different activities like that. If you're the sporty type, specifically sea sports, you'll absolutely love it. We also offer the option to do Magen David Adom, that's volunteering on the Israeli ambulances. You do a 10-day training course, and then you get to volunteer on the Israeli ambulances four days a week for eight-hour shifts. It's a really unique opportunity. If you're interested in medicine, it's a great opportunity for you. We also offer an add-on called Marvat, which is basic training in the Israeli army, where you do an eight-week tra uh, training program in the Israeli army. It's exactly like basic training that Israelis your age will do when they enter the Israeli army. Very challenging, very special. And our final special interest add-on that we offer is the, Ardmark, is the entrepreneurship add-on. And the entrepreneurship add-on is for those really interested in business and entrepreneurship, and it's doing all sorts of workshops, um, guest speakers and field trips, all to do with entrepreneurship and business in Israel. Beyond that, we have our international add-ons, and those are short trips to different countries around the world where you get to experience the local culture and see the main tourist attractions of the country we're going to. So, for example, in the first semester, we're going to Spain and the United Arab Emirates. And in the sem second semester, we go to Ethiopia and Italy. In each of those countries, again, we're going to see the main tourist sites and the attractions in those countries, whether that's the Burj Khalifa, the world's tallest building, whether that's the Colosseum in Rome, going to a flamenco dancing or a Barcelona soccer match. We're going to do all of those kind of experiences in each of the countries we go to. We're also going to learn in, about the local Jewish communities in each of the countries we go to by meeting and interacting with the local Jewish communities and understanding the Jewish narrative in each of those countries as well. And then as a Zionist program, we're also going to do a seminar on the Israeli embassies in each of the countries we go to. And the more countries you go to, you get to understand Israel's place in the world and Israel's place in the international community. You can choose as many trips as you like per semester, one trip, two trips, or you can do all four trips over the course of the year. Each trip is about five or six days long. If you're looking something a little bit different from that, we have our Poland trip. Now, our Poland trip is for those people who really want to learn about the Jewish history of Europe and Poland specifically in the years before the World War II, and then learn all about its eventual destruction in World War II, in the Holocaust, in the Shoah, and we'll take you to the places where those, where those atrocities really happened, teach you about it, show you what happened and how it happened, and we'll talk about that. And we'll also talk about the aftermath uh, of the Shoah as well and the rebirth of the Jewish community in Poland since the Shoah as well. A little bit different from those are our cultural exchange programs. And we run two, two week programs in both Nepal and Zambia where you get to live in remote villages, either in Nepal or in Zambia. And you get to volunteer wherever the village needs you to volunteer, building greenhouses, irrigation ditches, maybe working in the schools, um, doing cleanup campaigns, women's empowerment campaigns, all sorts of things like that in some of the poorest villages that exist on the planet. And you really get to see how they live. You'll live in mud huts or wooden shacks. There aren't real toilets as you know them in the Western world. Um, there's no electricity. There's no running water. It's a very unique experience. And if you really want to do tikkun olam, if you really want to volunteer and change the world and make it a better place, there is no purer form of volunteering you can do than these type of experiences. And finally, we also have our plus summer experiences as well that you can add on to your experience. We have three different options that take place between the end of the program in May and August. The first one is working in an American Jewish summer camp. And that is where we send you to work in an American Jewish summer camp. We've paired with NJY camp, the largest Jewish summer camp in America. And you can work in different camps with different age kids, younger kids, older kids. There are camps for kids with special needs. There are also religious camps as well. And you work in a variety, you can work in a variety of different positions in those camps. On the way to those camps, we'll also do a three-day tour of New York City and a three-day tour of Washington, D.C. If you would rather stay in Israel for those extra two, two and a bit months, then you can send you to work in Kibbutz Harduf with Project 10. In the Kibbutz Harduf, you're going to work 
couple of days a week in Bedouin villages, teaching English in the schools and, and, and working with the children. And then you'll do some agricultural work as well with, um, with um, people with special needs. And you'll also work with youth at risk uh, in different projects they do as well on the kibbutz as well. So it's extending your Israel experience, spending more time in Israel, working alongside other Israelis who are your age and other people from all over the world and making a difference to Israeli society in a kibbutz kind of experience. And that where you get to experience what a kibbutz is all about as well. One of the final plastic summer plastic experience we offer is volunteering in Africa. Right now, we're offering experiences in both Uganda and in Ghana, where you can go and work for six to eight weeks in a village in, in Uganda and Ghana, specifically working with children, both in their school program and in their after school program. And whilst we're there, we'll spend time getting to know the village, getting to know a little bit of Africa, doing some sightseeing as well. But you're very much there to volunteer and give of yourself, connecting with other Jews from around the world and also with Israeli, who are also going to be volunteering at the same time as you. That's everything we offer on our program. I do want to mention that we do have early bird specials. If you're thinking of coming in our full semester program starting in September, if you sign up and pay the deposit by December the 15th, you can get one of our international trips for free. That's to Ethiopia, Spain, United Arab Emirates, or Italy. And if you're thinking of coming in January for our spring semester program, if you pay the deposit by June the 15th, then you can get one of those trips that I just mentioned for free as well. If you're interested in more information, please contact us, please reach out to us. We'll be happy to answer all of your questions and tell you everything there is to know about our program. We would love to see you in Israel. Imagine your year. Now come live it. Thank you. <laughs>